So welcome viewers, hope everybody had a good, I hope everybody had a great. Welcome back to our next brand new video and in today's video viewers and subscribers, well, the other day I did a video on Lady Sa musical accomplishments and the reason for that video is to showcase what Lady Sa have done throughout the years in dancehall. So it's only right that I do spice his musical accomplishments along with her billboard history because I don't want person thinking that I'm taking side between Lady Sa and Spice because when it comes to the female lembraging, my love the female them, my love and respect the female them from Lady Sa, Spice, Jada Kingdom, I mean Shensia, how you talk? So in fact all of the female artists them in the business a lovely name and a bridging and I mean check the intro I will bring out the girls them fun you understand me I say but anyhow while getting to all of this viewers but you know the drift like the video share the content with a friend subscribe for the first half to the channel and definitely leave your thoughts in the comment section so I can start off the video like this so boom Lovely and lock the world and done. Lock the world and done. Lovely and now your time come. Fake news no run. And you bring all the girl them fun. Send us up to the time. You know what's called tell. Representing for Lovely and TV. Number one vlogger. Don't. Oh. So viewers, Spice first time entering the Billboard chart would have been in 2009, August to 22 to be precise. And that was with the controversial collaboration with Vibes Cartel, which entitled Ramping Shop. And viewers, one must remember how impactful that song was. Not just locally, not just in the Caribbean, but also globally. And given the fact that the song was so impactful on a wider scale, it landed on the hot R&B and hip hop top 100 billboard chart before it was issued a cease and desist letter from Neo Steam. Because initially, the song was vice and its independent lady rhythm. And we all know that song. But anyhow, Vibes Cartel and Spice Ramping Shop spent 15 weeks on the Billboard chart before the cease and desist letter take effect. But any of viewers under that, it still didn't stop the impact because as Thomas said, the song did done bust already and it created the impact with the create. And even when Jamaica government banned it from the airwave, it still couldn't stop it. Less than me I say. But anyhow, that to that. In 2014, Spice then entered the Billboard again with her EP, which entitled Some Like It. And we all know that song from Spice because that song is indeed one of Spice's biggest song. No jokes. But anyhow, the EP landed at number 14 on the reggae Billboard chart. And then, in 2016, Spice was a feature on Kid Ink and Jeremiah song which entitled Nasty. And June 18, 2016, it hit the Billboard R&B and Hip Hop Digital Song Seal at number 27. It also hit number 16 on the Rap Digital Song Seal chart. And 29 on the Rhythmic Earplay and spent over 10 weeks on the chart. Anyhow. In 2018, Spice released her mixtape which entitled Capture. On the 20th of November that very same year, it debuted at number 1 on the reggae Billboard chart and lasted 3 weeks on the chart. And that was a good look. You understand me I say? But anyhow, in 2021, Spice then released her album or debut album which entitled 10. And viewers, subscribers, that album contains songs such as Godonde. And viewers, subscribers, Godonde is a major hit for Spice. Not just locally, you understand me? I say, not just in the Caribbean, not just in the US, but also in the UK. In fact, worldwide. Because that song was at number one in Chile, Brazil, Mexico, Ukraine, number two in Netherlands, number three in France, number six in Italy number 8 in Germany and number 15 in the United States and we can go on and on with the amount of country to how this song was highly impactful worldwide you understand me I say but anyhow the album debuted at number 6 on the reggae billboard chart and viewers that is a good look because as we dare start talk the album is up for nomination for a Grammy nomination and viewer subscribers but definitely, I hope say Spice take this win. Honestly, because it would be a good look for her. You understand me? I say, had to her collection her accolades in her music. So, I mean, viewers, I definitely a vouch for her. You understand me? I say, I hope she take this win because it would be a good look. It would mean a lot to her. 
and it would have mean a lot to dance all hardcore dance all you understand me i say no jokes about that but anyhow this basically covers spice billboard history and our soon to be accolade which is the grammy award because me have a strong feeling say a spice i got to take it no jokes about that and it would have been or it would have be a good look for dance all for hardcore dance all if she win somehow hope she get it no jokes about that but viewers subscribers honestly me you know and this female and side taking thing when it come to me brother i can't do that as to me say initially i love every female in the game every female play them role play them part you understand me ladies are forward set her thing do her work set her column in fact ladies are is a column in a dance hall none of what can grow on that and spice now a develop in such because me can bet say a lot of young female the younger female them admire her yes me i say and aspire to be like her in fact i read an article with shensia on the billboard site in which she said when she heard spice and lady saw explicit lyrics and eventual collaborator vibes cartel is like that inspired her you understand me to forward the business and at the same way spice uh maka diamond and all those female before this generation of female dancehall artists inspired by Lady Saw. So if you ask me, they are all great in their own ways. No jokes about that. So I have to bless up Lady Saw, bless up Spice, said Speed. And if you know me, you don't know say me all about peace. Some would love to see these females can fall together, put aside them differences because at one point they were friends like um basically like sisters because i heard spice said she once lived at lady sa house so i mean basically sister that so i mean to me brother just put aside on the differences and um do a song together yeah man do a song together let us say that because let me turn this man jamaica done small already we don't get fight already and wanna basically like family and nobody win when the family feud <laughs> and all right they said that for me brother so again, big up the ladies them. You understand me? In advance, the Shensia, the Jada Kingdom, the Chanel Muir, Chanel Muir with the gifted vocal. Big up Chanel Muir. No jokes about that. You understand me? I say. Anyhow, viewers, subscribers, tell me what you think. You know that love is spice and ladies have put aside them differences and do a song for the people them. Let me know what's going on in the comment section. And for now, we well, gonna leave the video right here, so. But I know it go. And the boy love lane will always bring the latest tune as soon as possible. So until next time, big up on yourself every time. I'm out.